Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Inside Look and today we're looking at the Order 1886 and as you can see this game is beautiful I mean look at that just look at it oh this is a creepy part um, but there's a reason why I picked this part because this is a, this part is essentially everything that's wrong with the game um, so story wise your name is Galahad. You're the recent incarnation of Galahad in the Knights of the Round Table, and you've been around for centuries, and you're fighting the half-breeds, basically werewolves, but there's a rebellion going on in London, and you're fighting them too, and you barely fight the werewolves, and it's just... Yeah, the story, it's actually pretty well good. It's really well, it's well written, poorly paced. Um, oh, right now. Oh, see, first, time, first quick time event. Um... Yeah, so basically, um, I'm fighting a, one of the werewolf lords, and uh, this game's got so many issues, but it's also really fun, and I'm torn on how to think of it. Like, I know I shouldn't like it this much, but I really do, because it's really short. It's like seven hours, six hours, so it's a nice, like, it comes and it goes, and it's, I mean, if you don't have a lot of time like I do, it's really nice. Um, the game looks gorgeous. I mean, this is easily the best looking game I've ever seen. Um, even on, I, I don't even think I've really seen a PC game with such high attention to detail. Um, I'm, there may be, there may be out there. That, that personally, I haven't seen one. Um, the textures, the, the world, it's just really good. And the, the world's really interesting. Um, like it's a ste it's like slight steampunk, it's not full blown steampunk, it's only slight steampunk. Um But it's just like really interesting and like you get to hang out with Nikola Tesla and you get to hang out with like Sir Percival, the only remaining member of like the um n original Knights of the Round Table. And one of the issues of this game is that there's a lot of looking, not playing. Like, there's entire chapters where you won't even play. Like, it's just a little giant long cutscene, and you'll walk. And the game has, like, a lot of walking segments where you just look around, look, occasionally put up stuff. It's just, like, to really showcase how pretty the game is. But I feel like that attention to detail was not needed at all. Because they could have, you know, added more gameplay. Like, there's not a lot of it, which sucks. Oh, mash the button, mash the button, mash the button. Um, this is one of those missions. I picked this mission because, one, it is a lot of quick time events. And two, there's not a whole lot of playing. Like, this is one of those walking sections. Where you just kind of walk, and then the boss, like, that's a boss fight. And the boss fights in this game are pitiful. Like, I've already beaten the game. I'm in my second playthrough because I want to get my $60 worth. Um, I feel like this game was not worth $60. Which is sad, because it looks like a really high-end game. But there's not a lot of gameplay and that's more my main issue is that, like what's there is really fun but there's not enough of it um i'm all there for a story like one of my favorite games is sir's wrath and that game's like the same uh, but my issue with the sir's wrath is that there was too much gameplay when i just want to do the story and all that stuff um the order doesn't have that good of a story where i can say that here's the boss fight it's just a quick time event really see oh fucked it up um the story's good, but it's not good in the sense where I just want to sit there and mash a button to get it. I mean, I want some gameplay. Like, the gameplay that's here, like, the guns are really neat. Like, there's a thermite rifle, an arc rifle, and yeah, I'm not showing you the really cool parts of the game. But, I mean, I feel like showing you this shows, like, the issues. Because, like, this is just a quick time. Any person can see that. Like, you can say it's not. But, like, right here, quick time event. And it's just, like, pressing, and you're essentially just pressing, like, the R buttons at the right time to stab. It's just a quick time event. Um, this is so, supposed to be Sony's big system seller. Um, they failed. There's, this game is not good enough for that. 
Um, I mean, if you have a PS4, I think you should just buy it on sale. Um, you should um, just buy it on sale when it's like $30. Then I'd say, yeah, this game's pretty sweet. Go for it. Oh, I thought I almost died. But at full price, not really. Because um, not a lot of gameplay. Um, I mean, I'm liking, I like what I got out of it, but I gotta think about the people who are buying it, and I don't think they're gonna like what they get out of it. Um, they're gonna be like, well, I just wasted 60 bucks on like, I mean, you can beat the game in maybe five hours, four hours, if you know what you're doing and you really, really speed run it. But like, your first playthrough is really decent. I mean, seven hours is decent for a shooter. I mean, Alien Isolation, I thought, went on too long. Um, that game was like 20 hours, and that, again, that's ridiculous. Um, but like, shooters, I think, should be short. That's just my opinion, because they're all about the fast-paced action. And it, I feel like if they're maybe over, let's say over nine hours, they're a bit overstaying their welcome story-wise, because it's just kind of like, all right, Come on, there's only so much you can, like, see in a shooter. Um, but this game right here, it's gorgeous. It's so pretty. And that's, like, the best thing you can say about it. Like, it's just so pretty. Um, but there's just not a lot to it. It's seriously just pr it, That's all it is. It's just pretty. And nothing else. Man, that guy got fucked. Uh, I can't really recommend it on a full $60 price tag. Um, but it's a good thing to fuck around with. I mean, I don't know people who do this, but I heard people who have, um, you know, you and a bunch of friends just chip in for it. Um, I'd recommend that. And just toss the game around. Uh, the gunplay is really good. Uh, it's cover based shooting obviously but like the guns feel like impactful um the special weapons like the arc rifle and the thermite rifle um they feel so wonderful to use they are so cool and there's like a whole mission where there's a rocket launcher and, like this game's got really cool parts and like the game's really cool but the bad part is that the game's really badly paced and that stuff gets interrupted very frequently, so it's kind of like, you know, you start to get, you're like, yeah, let's do this, and you get that, like, rising feeling in your balls when you're excited, and then it stops because it's either you got to walk around a corridor for a few minutes and just look and do nothing, or watch a cutscene filled with quick time events. Um, I know I just showed you guys a boss, but that's really not a spoiler. Like, you seriously just stumble upon him, and that's it. Um, th that's also why I picked it. I don't want to give spoilers c in case, because this game's still pretty new, so I don't want to give away too much. Um, I mean, there's not too much to talk about this game. The fact that it's pretty and what gunplay is there is, it's not, not, does nothing new. Like, it's very standard, but it works, and I like a game that has working mechanics. Um... Right here is, um, this is a very looky part. Uh, I'm going to try to remember where it is because I really don't want to look around. Um, it's weird. I thought this game would be co-op, but it's not. <laughs> um, because they have been advertising, like, the four players, the team, and all that stuff. But they're... It's weird. There's just... I don't have to pick that one up, and then I can fuck all this shit. But it's just weird, but it's no co-op, it's just single player, which I like. There's not enough single player games in the world. Um, everything's too multiplayer for centric, and it sucks, because I, I like a good single player game. I like, I like the multiplayer to complement my single player, not be the full reason I buy a game. Uh, what's behind here? Uh, there's a really... I like the lockpicking minigame in this. It's really cool. But, like, see, this is, like, London, 1886. And they got something like this. And it's just cool. Like, the little things. And I like that the developers, they said they tried to keep it as realistic as possible. Like, you know, this stuff is that, you know, you could see it. 
back in the day, which is cool. I like that they put the amount of detail. Like, they, they've detailed. Um, game's extremely well polished. There's, like, no glitches, no nothing. Um, like, I have no issues. Always steady frame rate at 30 frames per second, I think. It might be a little bit higher. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's 30. Um, I can't tell the difference on that stuff. Um, United India uniforms. No ranks or assignments on the sleeves. It's just very good stuff from what's here. And, like, you know, like, you see the blood still there from when he got hurt and all that stuff, and that's cool. And, I mean, everyone's like, why are they... Like, so these guys can take a lot of damage. Um, the way the healing works is that it's called Blackwater. And basically, it gives them immortality, but not not really. Like you can still like they can still die from like if they get hurt too much, but they can take a lot more pain and they can live. Pretty much, they live long lives. Oh shit! The fuck is that? They live very long lives, and um, as you know, because like. Galahad's really old. But see, like, th I like this. Like, they looks at the papers, he moves the books, they fall down. I mean, it's just, like, the little things of detail that are, like, really cool. But, um, the main fault with the game is that the game, the developers are like, I want to make it, like, uh, a movie. And that's one of the issues with the game. It's too, they focus too much on, like, that. And for God's, like, they're, they're like, oh yeah, we're make. I'm pretty sure they forgot they were making a game, but the game is beautiful, stunning, and its presentation is really good. Uh, now I gotta go get that that my honey, my honey bunches of oats. Percival, come in. But, um, final thoughts. Basically, hold off unless you really, really want it. Like you just got a PS4, and like. You just like I want it. I got a PS4 for this thing. Go ahead, get it. I mean, you won't feel too disappointed. Um, I mean, I didn't. I mean, I felt like okay, this is cool. Um, wish I waited though. Like if I got, I'd be way more happier if I bought this for thirty dollars. First, call in Um, but you know what? It's not bad. Not a bad game, really. Um, I'd recommend right now, for ga the games that came out in February, I'd recommend Dragon Ball Z Universe over this, because Dragon Ball Z Universe has a lot of content. The only issue is, if you're not a Dragon Ball fan, um, you'll be shit out of luck, because you will not enjoy that game, most likely. It's, that is like a fan game. Ugh, but it's really fun. But... You know what? I don't think for if you find it for the right price, you can't go wrong. I recommend you jump on that shark. Uh, remember always, guys, to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.